Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. And today we're gonna to do a collective review of the Homeworks candles that I have been picking up recently. So I know you've seen a couple hauls, I wanna say like three, um, because I just got really excited about trying a new brand and trying um, scent combinations that I had never experienced before. But I also thought it was really important to come back and just talk about my experience. Now I always say, that I think you guys should watch multiple people's reviews on candles. If you're curious, you know, and you're thinking about purchasing a brand that you're essentially buying without being able to go in and see what the candles look like and smell them without purchasing them first. So I still highly recommend that you do that. I wanted to um, highlight a couple of channels that I personally um, check reviews for on this brand. And I think I'm gonna do that with a lot of the brands that I review because again, these are just my thoughts, but I really do want to kind of do a well-rounded um, effort to, to talk about these candles, not just haul, haul, haul. So I really like Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. I'm sure all of you guys watch her already. She does an amazing job of reviewing her candles. Um, a lot of the practices that she shares, I kind of started to incorporate to better get a better use out of my candles and so um if you for some reason haven't been watching her I highly recommend checking her out um I also like Josh um I think he goes by Josh or Joshua from Touch the Fire Twice he is very good at describing each individual scent note and then comparing them to candles that you may have tried in the past there are a ton of great reviewers but those two I seem to catch every single homeworks video so for Homeworks in particular, I really enjoy their channels. Um, also, if you can hear, and I, I tried to wait a few days. Um, when I got home from my trip, I, like two days later, just totally got a cold. I don't know if it was stress-induced from the trip, because I kind of shared that in a story time before I got sick, um, or if, you know, it was just my turn for a sickness. But at first it felt like allergies, and then it just totally took over. I lost my voice, and it's coming back, but I think you can hear it a little bit. Might have to take a few extra breaks just to take some water, you know, things like that, because I'm still a little sniffly and I can hear it in my voice, but everyone around me says they sound fine, so we're just gonna roll with it. But if you hear that, I'm feeling so much better. It is a stormy day here in Kentucky. Um, and so if you hear a little bit of that, I apologize, but I just wanted to, I've been like saving these things for the whole week I was sick. I was gonna do that, get rid of me, I'm still going to, but I definitely didn't wanna zoom you in when my eyes were all puffy and all of that. Plus I got a little bit of like stress travel chin, which happens to me when I travel, like I just get a lot of breakouts. So that video is still coming. All the videos are still coming. I just got a little bit of a week postponement, but I'm feeling better. I just sound a little gross. So we're gonna jump right into the candles that I've tried the most, and I've tried a couple um, I don't really necessarily want to include them as the review, but just some things about these burns that I thought I could show you from like a after one burn type of experience. So we're going to jump right in. So the candles I am going to be reviewing today or talking about my experience because I burned them for at least four times. And I'm sorry, my light's doing something weird. Is the Pink Lemon Shortbread Candle. We'll start with this one. And I'll read you the notes just because in case you miss the haul, this way you can know like what I'm smelling and what it says it's going to smell like. So this has notes of pink lemon, vanilla shortbread, sugared citron, and buttercream swirl. And I love anything bakery gourmand lemon. So this was actually, this one and one other one were the candles that made me finally take the plunge. I have been looking at the website for a while. I never shop at QVC, but again, just watching a ton of our reviewers here. This is really glaring off of that light. Um, without the light, this room looks like really dark. So we'll have to bear with the... Uh, extra like uns, uns there on the candle <laughs> but um this one was really the one that made me take the plunge so um it comes with this like signature lid that has the little emblem in there you can see me through um there and this is a four wick candle i'm sure you already know that these are very substantial in weight these are very very heavy um and quite large like until you get them in the mail i mean they looked big but until i got one in the mail i was like oh okay these are quite a bit bigger than a Bath & Body Works 3-Wick, which is just the standard size because that's what a lot of us can go in store and check out. So the packaging is really cute. It's a complete wraparound, and I think this is a new design. And this is Homeworks by Slack and Co. And I think it used to say something else, but again, I'm so new to the brand, I don't know any of those pieces. So 
here's what my candle looks like now. This is about four, four burns completely. Um, and I do have some thoughts. So like I said, there's, it's very, very clean, very clean burn. Um, I have a dog hair in there because there's dog hair and everything. And here's what my wicks look like. And like I said, you know, I followed those recommendations from those reviewers that say, just take off that mushroom top and don't burn for more than three hours. Now I do believe it says on the bottom here not to burn for more than three hours. Um, it does say four, but I do really think that you should be a little bit more hesitant to go towards the four because at the three hour mark, especially on the gourmand candles that I tried, I, most of my orders have been gourmand. I just picked up a couple florals um, or a couple just fruity scents that the, the wicks really mushroom. They really, really give you this humongous mushroom top. And I was just being so careful with my candles. I forgot to take a video of this. So for this one in particular, I remember those mushrooms got huge, like literally a, just, I've never seen anything like it. So they started to kind of get too heavy and start to kind of turn towards the wax right around that three hour mark. So I went ahead and put it out. Now, I still haven't got a wick dipper, so the only way I was able to put these out was with the top, um, which I know that you can, they say to do that, but what I would do was just extinguish the candle flame and then I would take it outside and kind of let that smoke go out. I don't think that people would do that normally. I don't want that smoke in my house, but I also didn't want to trap it in the candle. Now, I will say that these are very clean burning. I've had absolutely no issues with any type of soot that I could visibly see. Now, all candles soot because, again, it's flame, but... um not soot, but all candles have a little bit of that component when your wick and the flame, you know what I'm saying? It puts off a little bit, but these are very clean burning. And the scent is delicious. I really do love how creamy lemon and you can get that sugary. Um, I don't know what a pink lemon tastes like, just being honest, but um, you know, I was thinking like pink lemonade, how it's just like a sugary, sweet lemonade. Um, and I really like the... I mean, it's creamy, so I feel like that might kind of lean towards an icing, but like a nice thin layer of icing, more like a glaze than like a thick buttercream icing. But I will say, over time, this one got a little bit stronger, but I never want to say that it like filled my room. Now, maybe some would say a lemon gourmand scent wouldn't be powerhouse status or um, a room filler, but this one in particular, it was such a subtle change and gradually getting stronger. The first burn, I really couldn't smell it. And I just kept watching reviews because I was like, well, maybe, maybe I don't know how to burn these candles. And um, they said, you know, the spring releases lately, they've been a little bit on the lower side. And hopefully, you know, Harry Slacken takes that feedback. And, you know, it might just be that I jumped in at a weird time for homeworks because most of the candles I'm going to share with you today, I would say all have a pretty light, I don't want to say low, a light throw. Um, it does project from the candle. I mean, this is a nice diameter. So, you know, um, I usually use a light ceiling fan or I've cracked a window depending on the strength right before. So um, the room has ventilation. So I always do that before I start a candle. That way I know the air's clean and ready and then I can actually say like what I'm smelling. Um, but this one in particular never got more than medium in strength. I could get the lemon in the air. I could kind of tell it was a gourmand lemon and not anything like a cleaner lemon or a fruity zesty lemon. It was very gourmand, creamy, but I guess I just wanted it to be a little bit stronger because the scent is beautiful, but the most I get out of it is a light scent. So I'm happy to have this one and I actually grabbed two. So I'm going to do what I hear is kind of save them. Um, I know that saying curing candles is like silly to some and then some really believe in it. I do in certain candle forms, but when I'm new to a brand, I can't say that like this candle brand needs a, B, or C. I'm really, really new. So um, I'm just going to kind of take others' advice and say that they're really kind of recommending letting your candle sit for a little bit longer. Um, and overall, what I'm hearing is that this season of candles has just overall, especially in the fruity, gourmand, fresh scented category, been on the light side. So none of these that I'm going to talk about today, except for one, 
really blew me away. Um, but again, what I was able to smell was a really nice blend. So, you know, I loved candles back in 2016, 2017. I started collecting heavily at the end of 2017 into 2018. I didn't start YouTube or anything. I've told this story a million times. I moved a candle collection of about 250 candles and a lot of them, a lot of them. I should have counted, but it was one of those like, I don't want to know situations um, got broken in my move. So then 2019 with everything else going on, I kind of took a little break. I only, I was just burning through what I had on hand. I thought I'm not going to go back to that. Like that was just such a loss and money wasted type of yada yada. So um, took a long break. And then 2020, I really kind of started picking back up into, I missed it. I missed it, having my collection. I missed, you know, doing all the things I did before the YouTube channel, but um, really wanting to branch out into other brands as well. Now, as you can see, I definitely have a lot of Bath & Body Works candles on hand, but I definitely want to see more from this brand um, and experience everything because I feel like the sales have been decent. I want to say on average, I've paid about $20 to $21 per candle, which again, for the size, I feel is really fair. Um, I still have a good four to eight burns left on this candle. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm happy with that, but I did really want more from this candle. So I want to see if that's all my thoughts. I actually wrote thoughts because I wanted to be really thorough with you all. Um, it did really burn well, though. I want to say, like, I just watching that time, I didn't feel like I was babysitting this candle whatsoever. I just wanted to make sure I was staying under the three hours. I didn't want to do anything to ruin the candle. So I did my due diligence to just kind of set a little timer on my phone once I got up, like, I'm going to talk about all that in my get ready with me video but like I do kind of have a candle burning plan um candles like this I definitely burn at night because I get home around five and I'm shutting down the house around eight so eight thirty so that is a three hour window I don't need to be too worried about I'm not going to go accidentally over or like on a Saturday when I'm just cleaning and then we might do it groceries I'll put up candles but like I might not be timing my burns. So, um, but yeah, the throw just, it never picked up fully to a medium. I want to say it was a beautiful lingering scent, but it was always on the lighter end and it never picked up and we're at the halfway point. But let's talk about a different one. So um, that one I don't necessarily recommend to you all unless you're okay with that beautiful creamy gourmand light scent and you don't need something that's going to fill a huge space because I set that one on my living room table and I was able to enjoy it from the couch or from my recliner um, but not from the kitchen or from a hallway type of thing. So another candle that intrigued me to try this brand was the peanut butter waffle cone. I love peanut butter scents. I love unique conceptual scented candles. This isn't conceptual because you could get a peanut butter waffle cone, but I just love mixing things. Like that's why I'm always talking about Franken melting my wax melts or blending candles. I have another blending candle coming, candle video coming too. But this one to me was the tipping point. I really was interested in the pink lemon shortbread. And then I was like, okay, peanut butter waffle cone, I'm buying. So the notes on this one are brown sugar waffle cone, cracked peanuts, caramel drizzle, and maple sugar. And what I thought I was going to smell is a really delicious waffle cone scent um, mixed with a creamy peanut butter caramel scent. So I, I really had high hopes for this one. And when I got it, it was strong on cold but it smelled heavily of just that salty peanut scent. And I even named it the Virginia peanuts because those are the best tasting peanuts. I really believe those are the peanuts that are used in Snickers. You know how the peanuts in Snickers are just a little bit better than most peanuts like planters or whatever. I was like, I think they use that scent in here. Um, I want to show you that I did leave from my last burn the mushrooms. These are the smallest they got. This candle in particular had the biggest mushroom toppers. Um, but I was just very careful, cut them after it was completely back to being hardened um, so that it didn't get trapped in the wax. One thing I want to mention about this one is the entire time, which it hasn't affected the burn, but the wax has cracked all the way around. So as it cooled and hardened all the way around every burn, it's just kind of cracked a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe that side's the best, but um, yeah, all the way around it looks like that, but that's like the deepest one. Um, I felt like the wick placement on this was really good, but um, I was very careful with these wicks because these were like bending over like a tree in the wind, like palm tree in the wind. So 
as soon as I saw that, I mean, I think a couple times I didn't even get to the full three hours where I was like, better put it out. But it burned very clean. I will say consistently over the five I've tried, very clean burns. Um, this one, I wanted to believe that it could be a peanut butter waffle cone, but I didn't get all the stuff that made me think that this was anything besides peanuts. I really wanted to believe that it could be a peanut brittle because I love peanut brittle and I thought that would be an interesting candle and maybe it was just misnamed. Um, again, these are thoughts from reviews I've watched because I was watching reviews not to get my thoughts but to really know how to treat these candles. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't coming on here and telling you guys these burned awful and I was using them wrong but I didn't get that either. I really just get a salty peanut scent from this candle, which I'm sure that's a really hard note to blend in candles. However, it's so hard not to just look at this and go, you're not peanut butter, you're not waffle cone, you're not any of the things that this beautiful picture says. Now, as you can see, this is not a complete label. I believe this is how the labels used to look with the white at the bottom with the name. And this one also says Homer Spice Latkin. Um, now, however, I am going to enjoy this candle. I just wanted a little bit more. If it said caramel, I really wanted to smell that caramel in here. I wanted to smell a waffle cone. I do not. I really just smell salty peanuts. That's it. So, um, you know, it did, for me, it missed the mark because I just, I want more. I want more with all those notes and with what I hear Harry's able to do in Gourmet Sense. I just want to smell more than peanuts. Now, I will say this threw after a couple of burns, the pickup was more substantial than the pink lemon shortbread. Each burn, I could really smell it further away. I could almost start to guess how far it was going to project by like the fourth and fifth burns. And again, because I was very strict on my time, I'm at the halfway point and I know I burnt these at least five times each. So it took me a little while to do these reviews because again, I'm only going to burn one of these at a time. Um, but this one really did pick up in projection and strength of throw way more than the pink lemon shortbread. Okay, so now we're going to talk about another candle that I did thoroughly feel like I tried, and then we'll talk about a couple that I just tried once. So this was through my second order. Um, I was on Tiffany Vanessa, which is another, um, Homeworks ambassador that really knows the brand and knows how to burn the candles and knows how to share tips and tricks with you all. So check her out as well. But we were talking about white sangria and she described this as like a skittle scent now the notes are sweet peach pineapple coconut rum and apricot nectar and she described a beautiful vacation and i don't know if that day now hear this it doesn't affect the burn and it doesn't come out but it shakes in there this is a three wick by the way from homework so this is not a scentworks candle i didn't include scentworks in this order but um i have enjoyed scentworks in the past i tried them from kohl's i had not tried them from the site but this is festive and refreshing. And I don't know if I just really needed a vacation. They were having another good sale. So I placed that second order and they didn't have this in a four wick, which is on my wish list, which I'll share at the end of this video. Um, but the way she described this, I grabbed two and I'm very glad I did. This is a delicious candle. Um, it does definitely take you somewhere. Um, you really do get those fruits in a juicy, like sitting off the side of your glass type of way with that coconut rum, really pick up the coconut rum and it doesn't make it overly boozy, it makes it very enjoyable. And then of course I do kind of get that tropical Skittles-esque scent. Now this candle from the get-go was actually throwing quite nicely. I was really surprised. Um, so again, these are three wick and I'll just show you my wicks real quick. That one is a little off, but it really does pool just fine. Clean burn, as you can see. I want to say I did stick to the about three hour burn time with this one, and I'm at the halfway point. I did not love this lid at first um, because the wicks came out like they were so long that this lid that was shoved on top had completely bent them over. So I was actually concerned that they were going to break, but they did not. Um, so that I didn't love. I just would be a little bit more careful when I purchase these in the future to check that out. But yeah, definitely Tropical Skittles. Loved that coconut. It was coconut rum. It was so authentic and like really took me somewhere. I, like where she took me in her live, I was like, I got there with this candle. So this is definitely a recommend. Um, and again, with those notes just being like fruity, refreshing, festive, I like the way that they described that. It was a strong throw. This was my best throw so far. Um, wasn't expecting it. I just really wanted to see what the tropical Skittles scent would be like. Um, and I was just really impressed from burn number one. The other ones kind of built over time. So, um, yeah, so a couple more. That's all I have to say. All good things. This one was a 
really good purchase. And again, for a three wick, it's been doing a great job. So I burnt these one time. I've tried the strawberry milkshake and then I've also tried just one time the Enchanted Peony because again, I was coming to you with a video full of gourmands and I was like, none of these are really throwing super great. Enchanted Peony is definitely a good thrower, but let's talk about this one. This one actually surprised me as well. So strawberry milkshake, again, not a full review because I'm just, I burnt this one time. It's pink strawberries, whipped raspberry sorbet, marshmallow fluff, and whipped cream. Also, I hope I'm inserting videos. I didn't get videos of all of these different burns. I got videos of some, so as I'm going, I'm going to insert them just so you can see it in action. Um, this one I'm laughing at because I burnt this last night for about three hours and there's literally no mushrooms. I wanted to burn one from the get-go so I could show you those mushrooms. Didn't happen with this one. Um, so that's okay. But like I said, as you can see, it has not burnt down very much, but... I can talk about the scent a little bit. So we read the notes. Um, I really get a creamy strawberry in here. Um, I don't necessarily get like milkshake because like sometimes candles can evoke that like cold cooling. Um, I didn't get that, but I got a lot of cream and a lot of strawberry in here. Um, maybe it's that marshmallow fluff. Maybe it's the sorbet and the whipped cream, obviously. But that was almost as strong as a strawberry, the whipped note, that whipped cream or the creaminess that came through. So I was actually really liking this one um, so far on the burn. I, I was actually able to smell it within that three hour mark um, before I put it out last night. And I was like, oh, okay. So there's hope for this one. Um, I, again, I don't, I wanna, don't wanna fully review it because I burnt it one time, but I'd actually done that just to show you the mushroom tops that didn't come. So this one so far I'm liking. It's not strong, but I was actually able to pick out a couple of notes from the first burn. And then this one, I did the same thing. Um, this was Sunday. So I burnt this one after cleaning Sunday, put it out a couple hours later, I burnt that one with dinner. We actually had like keto chocolate cake for the first time. So I was just making a, um, a box I found at the store, but um, I was like, ooh, this strawberry would go good with our dinner. It was like tacos and cake, which is weird. But Enchanted Peony was my candle I chose after cleaning yesterday. Again, didn't feel very good on Saturday. So this one's got a little bit more of the mushroom cups, but again, these are nothing compared to the ones I got on peanut butter waffle cone or the pink lemon shortbread. That, those were like little Dr. Seuss trees from the Lorax, okay? Um, remember preschool teacher over here, but this is velvet peony, pink camellia, leafy greens, and fresh blackberry. I really enjoy this candle. Um, and so, you know, this one was one of those candles where I could smell it right from the start of the burn. Um, so I was happy about that. It was a nice, it wasn't overpowering. It wasn't a powerhouse to where I was like, woo. it was so nice and sweet and pleasant and moving around the room in a nice, sweet, pleasant way. Um, I love the smell of peonies. And what I will say is that sometimes that scent just smells like a fragrance oil added. In this candle in particular, I really thought I was smelling a fresh bouquet of flowers. Um, I don't know what a camellia smells like. I do know what leafy greens smell like. And the fresh blackberry, I wouldn't say I would be able to pick out that note, but there was this like juiciness to the floral scent and this fresh fruity like sweetness to the floral scent that I thought that must be what they talk about when they say he does a really nice job of incorporating fruits into his florals and florals into his fruits. So this one has me sold. And again, if I would have burned these in a different order, I may have had different thoughts to share with you. I'm not reviewing viewing this one because as you can see, I mean, this candle is actually burnt down a little bit, but this was one burn. But I will say, this one I do believe I will be able to come back and talk about in a post burn review and say that it really was a powerhouse. Um, but for now, I wouldn't say powerhouse. I would say this one is traveling like you would think a candle of this size would travel in my huge room um, with a window cracked. And it was really a, just a nice, pleasant scent, very rem or a rem remnant of spring. I just kept thinking that, wow, my house really smells like spring and I loved it. So this one is a hit. I think this is like one of his staple candles and I think I get the reason why. This is a really beautiful candle. So I do have a quick little wish list. I would still like to find, I know, I don't know what I'm talking about because these candles come and go and people know like exactly how many years it is going to be till you see it again. I would love to find Very Trifle. The way that that candle is talked about 
it's got a following and I'm like, I want to experience that too. Um, birthday cake, the vanilla. I have the chocolate one. I haven't burnt it yet. I'm just kind of waiting on that one. I've heard and I think some of you have commented that tell me just like put that one on hold and still let it sit. So I have made myself a homework shelf. I've got about nine candles on it. These I'm going to rotate in and out. I'm not in a quick hurry to burn through any of them. Um, the way that sometimes I will with like Goose Creek. Goose Creek is just a candle company that I do not collect. I, I buy them and burn them. Um, you know, and then like right now I've been frustrated because I've had so many wick issues and I'm not, this is about homeworks, but so I'm just burning through what I have now and then I take breaks and then I'll go back. Bath and Body Works I collect. So right now I would say I'm a half a collector because I have about nine on the shelf, but I did make room in my collection for homework. So um, I would love to find white sangria in a four wick. I want to try apricot cobbler. I heard that's a very interesting blend. Um, and then I do want to try the cheers candle. I did, didn't make it into my first three orders, but it has like a cotton candy scent and you guys know I'm this giant child over here. So overall, my experience is these burns are super clean. I'm going to do um, a couple other candle reviews collectively, and I have another candle company that I would say I completely 360'd on, but these were my first experience. And overall, super satisfied with the clean burns. Um, and like I said, they do gain strength and throw with each burn. So I don't see them dudding out. They seem to have the right kind of combination of fragrance oils that it's going to last throughout the candle. That's my hope. Um, so my, for best performance, I definitely say keep it under the three hour burn, watch your wicks, do a nice job of trimming those. I can get lazy in some brands, especially Goose Creek, where I just let them go after a while when I know they're not going to pop into my candle. Sometimes they still do. And I'm like, whoops, but, um, these are mushroom to the point where I just don't think you could avoid getting them cleaned up. And then um, they really do have some exciting releases. I do really, really encourage you all to follow other people that talk about homeworks a lot because they really know like what's coming and what it's kind of reminding them of and stuff like that. Um, so they do sell out sometimes on the first day. That's always really hard with the whole think about your purchases being intentional. I will say that three orders in one month is a lot for me. I usually do like to take a step back and try them because I don't always have the same experiences when people are like, love, love, love this brand. And I'm like, I didn't really. So I'm going to start. I was so into these releases and the sales that I just got, I drink the Kool-Aid, which I know it's not funny, but I just kept buying and I did try some, but I was like, I, I'm just going to keep buying because they sell out so quickly that you're not going to get that opportunity. And I don't love that, but I understand it's a small company and, um, you know, they're very, very popular. So that's just kind of that formula for quick sellout, first day sellout. So, um, you know, there will always be something else that comes along. And I have to tell myself that I'm not really telling you all, I'm telling myself. And um, like I said, their scent notes are really complex and really interesting the way that they're put together. So even if the scent throw isn't all of that, I really like what I'm able to smell. That's my overall thought. I would love a little bit more of a throw. I'm not going to lie. I, you know, we always want more, don't we? But if these threw a little bit more for the size, I feel like they would jump up to the top of my like most is favorite. But as a first time burner, and this just might be an off season, or I just might be picking the wrong scents. Um, I'm happy with what I got. I'm not, I'm not mad about any of these purchases, but I was expecting a little bit more on the throw, what I would be able to get out of these big candles. I wouldn't have thought I would tell you that this candle performed the best. Um, but I still have high hopes for this brand and I'm just kind of curious. Now I'm going to turn it over to you all. Tell me what below like is your tried and true homeworks or scent works or the three wicks or the four wicks. Um, is there anything to letting them sit for a while? Maybe I should just let these sit for a little bit, pull them back out to burn later. Um, you know, is it just my choice and scents that are going to always be kind of perpetually light? I like to know that. So let me know your thoughts on this brand. And I will, of course, continue to review these as I burn them. But I just thought instead of doing these current burn reviews, like one candle at a time and hitting you with a bunch of videos, I would just do a current, a collective review of a brand, um, for this month at least. And, um, I'm planning to do that with each of the brands that I included in the good, the bad, and the city, my two cents on all the popular brands. So yeah, I'm turning it over to you guys. Let me know down below your thoughts and I will see you in a video probably tomorrow. Bye guys. Thanks.